Hello YouTube, this is Golden Ema one here, and today we're going to be going through some facepalm moments. What do I mean by facepalm moments? Well, I'm talking about the things we see other players do in the game that just make us facepalm. A shameful display! In other words, these are the things that you shouldn't do in Planetside 2. Number 1. Destroying Terminals some of you might do this because you'll get extra XP and prevent the enemy from pulling vehicles. And while this is true, it puts your attacking forces at a disadvantage. The reason for this is because you can wait for an infiltrator or pick up the infiltrator class to hack out the terminal. This is the way you would get more XP than you would if you had destroyed it and you'd allow your allies to pull the vehicles or classes that they want. For example, you could be in a fight where the enemy has 60% population, but if you hack the vehicle terminal, you can pull a Sunderer, deploy it in a safe position and allow friendly reinforcement. On the other hand, if you're not an infiltrator but think the enemy can make their way to the terminal and use it, then you could just guard it until an infiltrator comes. If you want to go troll mode, then you can hack out the aircraft terminals in enemy towers closest to the fights and annoy the pilots. Something that is worth mentioning here is that if you see your base being attacked, then you should destroy the terminal so that the enemies don't hack the terminal and pull their own vehicles. Number two, placing mines indoors. Now you may think placing a tank mine or a proximity mine might be a good idea, but placing it around friendlies indoors is a horrible idea. All it takes is one grenade or even worse an EMP grenade to blow up the mines and kill the surrounding friendlies. If you really want to get those mine kills then placing them in flank and positions where your friendlies are not watching right at the bottom of the stairs is a good idea. However if there are more than 20 of you in a single building in a tight place then don't do it at all because your kill feed will just show a bunch of team kills. Number 3. Stopping your vehicle in front of a vehicle terminal So once the base is captured, you'll see a lot of friendlies running towards the vehicle terminal to pull transport to go to the next base or elsewhere. People will select what they want and a huge queue will form, but when you get yours, don't stop right in front of the spawner, but keep driving so you don't get in the way. If you do stop, this will increase the chance that someone will ram right into you and blowing up or going against the laws of physics. In addition to this, you might get a few people shouting at you on proximity chat. If you have to pick up players, then park somewhere that wouldn't block the vehicle spawner or the roads around it. But usually, the best place to pick up players is at ammo towers as they are a sensible distance away from the spawner. So those are the three things that make others, or at least me, facepalm. But if you have any other facepalm moments, then why don't you leave them in the comments down below. But yeah guys, that'll be the end of today's video, but please do give me feedback on this video so that I can improve in my next one. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you subscribe to receive some more golden quality content. But nonetheless guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.